y'all welcome back or welcome if you are new my name is sammy and welcome back to this week's grocery haul i tried to stay under or let's just say i tried to stay between 100 and 150 dollars for a one week um grocery prices as we all know have just skyrocketed um some things you can't even get right now we are having that issue for certain things here in West Virginia. Um, I don't know how it is where you all live. Let me know below if you're having issues getting stuff. Um, mainly it's like shelf stable foods <laughs> that are being depleted right now, I should say. So there must be a lot of people that are trying to do what I'm doing and buying extras. Um, I didn't do that this week, but I have done it a couple weeks in a row. I've gotten some stuff to add to my pantry. Um, if you want to call it a prepper pantry or whatever you want to call it, but I'm just trying to stock up as I go. So let me know how it is in your area, but I did try to keep my budget between $100 and 150 this week. I think I stayed in there, but I can't remember, but you'll see that at the end of my grocery haul. But we're getting ready to go and get Walmart pickup. Um, I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that. And then my meal plan will either be after this intro or it'll be after my grocery haul. But typically it's right after this. So you'll probably see my meal plan and then we'll get into the haul. But I'm going to go on and get my groceries. And then when I get back, I'll get everything set up. And then I will bring you back to show you everything we got for one week for a family of four. <laughs> but anyways, let's go get some groceries, y'all. All right, y'all. Meal plan for this week. Farmer's Market Sheet Pan Dinner, Smothered Country Style Pork Ribs in the Crock Pot, Taco Soup, Meatloaf Balls and Sides, Pinto Beans, Fried Taters, Smoked Sausage, and Cornbread, yum yum yum, French Onion Chicken and Sides, Whatever Wednesdays or Yo-Yo Night, and I also might throw in like a mini Thanksgiving dinner as well. So to start out, we have a gallon of whole milk. I could have thought I've gotten two, but maybe I just got one because I have another gallon in the fridge. So that's probably what I did. But anyways, I got a gallon of whole milk. I have a container of heavy whipping cream. I have a package of the Colby Jack shredded cheese. I got two containers of French onion dip. This is my favorite kind of French onion dip. I'm going to make a French onion chicken bake that I saw Kim over at Kim's Farmhouse Life make. So I'm going to make that this week. Then I got some beef smoked sausages. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with that either for a breakfast for dinner or um, cut it up and make some fried taters and something else. But then I've got chicken strips for another dinner this week. Quick and easy dinner, by the way. I got some lunch meat, so I got some bologna. And then I got this carving board turkey. It's oven roasted turkey breast. But I got three packs of that for us. I'm actually going to put this in a gravy and cook it. <laughs> this um, One of my co-workers at work gave me this idea. Um, she made it for dinner, so it's like a mini Thanksgiving in a way. So that's what we're going to have. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut this up and put it in um, the gravy and stuff. She says it's really, really good. So we're going to give that a try. And then I got two packs of um, pork chops, but y'all know I call these ham chops because that's what it tastes like. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, <coughs> Pepper. <coughs> really? <coughs> I don't want no back to. No, stop. 
Okay, let's try this. Maybe third time's a charm. <laughs> but anyways, I call these ham chops because to me that's what they taste like. But I got two packs of those. And then I got a package of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. That is going to be for the French onion chicken. So that's going to be another dinner. I got me some ham hocks because I do have a big old bag of pintos. <laughs> so I'm going to do um, a big crock pot full of pintos. I've been wanting that with some fried taters. And I might make the pork chops with it. So I got some smoked ham hocks. I did get two bags of our favorite apples. And both of those bags look pretty decent. Then I got some more caramel dip because that's what we like to have with it sometimes. I did get two more packages of the um, instant potatoes. So I got two of those. And then back here, I had ordered the Walmart brand, but they didn't have it. So they substituted with this, but that's all right. So we got complete buttermilk pancake mix. I do have a bag of the sugar, just the white sugar. I got two boxes of savory herbs, stovetop stuffing. That's going to go um, for the, well, one box is going to go for the turkey dinner, a.k.a. mini Thanksgiving. <laughs> but anyways, there is that two-pound bag of pintos. I'll probably only use half a bag, um, so that'll get me, like, two dinners. And then if y'all are looking for a, a, like, wonderful potato soup, quick and easy, you all really need to try this Bear Creek creamy potato soup. It is amazing and it's so good, so, so good. So really you only have to add water to this um, and it makes a half a gallon of soup. So that's it. I mean, it's you dump this in a pan with your cups of water, eight cups of water. But what I do is I do four cups of water and four cups of milk, so. But it's totally fine with just water too and it's, it's so good, y'all. So if you want shelf stable potato soup, quick and easy dinners, please try these and let me know. Or if you've tried them, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. <laughs> and then we got two containers of the butter flavored syrup. I got a bottle of ketchup. I did get two jars of the Heinz homestyle gravy, the roasted turkey for that turkey. So this is the gravy we're gonna use um, just to make it quicker. I got two bags of the French fried onions. That's gonna be for the French onion chicken dinner. And then I picked up an extra bag to put in the pantry. Trying to keep stock. So that's why you see twos of a lot of things here. And then I got two of the French onion soup mix, the great values. And then I got two cans, well, jars. I ordered the cans. They didn't have any, so they gave me these fancy-dancy ones in a glass jar, which I'm sure I could reuse that jar for something. So, who knows? Maybe I'll do something with them. But I got two of those. I got two cases of water back here. That should last us this week. Y'all, we go through so much water, too. Um, so, I got two of those. And then I got another box of my caramel protein shakes right here. This alone was $15, and I really hated to pay that. I would love to find a deal like Tony did over at Chaotic Country. She found hers at Ollie's for like nine bucks. I'd love to be able to find some at Ollie's. <laughs> but anyways, there's 12 of them in here, so it does last a couple weeks um, because I don't drink them every day. But So I don't mind that, but I got those. And then I just got a loaf of white bread right here, but... That is it for this grocery haul. Y'all, this is what 130 something dollars looks like. I can't remember exactly how much I spent, but I'll have the total here at the bottom. Um, so yes, this is what 130 something odd dollars looks like at Walmart right now in West Virginia. I mean, yes, I did get some meat, so that's, uh, you know, excusable. I don't think it's too bad, but I mean, considering. <laughs> Ooh, lordy, I look a hot mess, but that's all right. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put all this up. Leave me some of the prices, like how much do you all spend a week at your stores now or how often do you go? Let me know how you all spend or how much you all spend and your family size. That way I can just kind of make some comparisons. But we are a family of four and this is a weekly haul and it was 130 something dollars, but you've already seen the total. <laughs> But anyways, I really appreciate you guys coming back for another grocery haul. And I hope you have a very blessed week and you all stay safe and healthy. But until next time, you all, God bless. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.